Now he can talk about whether or not they review it. Unless he's hit it, surely not. Strauss doesn't think so. Strauss thinks you're gone, Alistair. The Wagner loves it. Oh, what a big move. Ryan Harris swapping ends. Gets his first ball right. He was reasonably expensive in his first two overs. His first ball of his third. Traps caught legs together on the crease. Umpire's finger up, no appeal. So no inside edge. What was the height like? We wonder. Cook's gone for 13. It was the length that uh, caught Alastair Cook there. Just shuffling across the crease rather than coming forward or back. Oh, how close is that? So let's just say the umpire gave it out. And on reviewing all that, it would still stay with the umpire's call. Good start from him and good start from Jonathan Trott. He had to get back on it, he did, he gets four. Oh, that's a good short ball, that. That's really well directed. Third last ball of the day, and Ryan Harris, and you get this one. Ooh. This one here, look, look at this replay. Ooh. Ooh. Gee, that's close, isn't it? Here we go, last ball of the day. finish on what a what a ball Jimmy Anderson didn't want to take the single Collingwood was keen and look what's happened a wicket good catch too third slip Steve Smith it was low it went fast it's a good catch from Smith Paul Collingwood didn't get forward and his run of outs continue but what a way to finish for Australia wake up this morning wake up tomorrow morning with a verge of victory and leveling the series one all going to Melbourne what a day we've got tomorrow 5 for 81 England That was a superb catch from Steve Smith. That went quick. It was interesting looking at that wicket um, ball. It's the wicket of Paul Collingwood, I, I reckon. It was the, all deliveries to right-handers. It's the white ball there. You look how wide it is. It, I'm sure people at home are probably saying, well, why would he play at a ball like that? Last ball of the day yesterday. But that is the line to bowl to Paul Collingwood. He moves across. You see how far across he gets before Harris lets the ball go. And therefore, it, he makes balls which are quite wide of off stump feel like to him they're probably about off stump that's why he plays and that's why that's a great line as is that is he's got the mic through all the stumps are all over the place and have a look at this this is a different Aussie side there's smiles all around at the moment boy they were like this in training as well the sporting heels they certainly were i haven't seen them as upbeat as they are for the whole series Jimmy Anderson, what about his despondency? He really wanted to survive in there a long time. He was so sad walking off. He was desperate for a fight. He couldn't hold it up. He could not hang in there. Six for 94. Yeah. Top edge, but it'll be safe. And it's six. I think it's gone the way it has. And the hundred's up for England. Well, the, uh, the Aussies won't mind them having a go. They've, uh, they've got a few of down there. That was a top edge. But he had a real full go at it. And they uh, just watched it sail away. And here's Harris again. Ah! And that's going to be a That is a That is stone dead. We'll probably see a review here. Just on the half chance. But uh, it's only a no ball, it'll save him. Yeah, it looks absolutely plumb. And just rolling the dice with the review system here. There was no doubt Ian Bell felt like he was absolutely salmon trout. And uh, with all those red lights, it is confirmed that that's the case. Just above middle, on middle stuff. 
Don't get any plumber than that. Halfway up middle, that's on your bike. Ryan Harris strikes again. He's getting some good rewards for bowling well in Adelaide and bowling well here. Oh. And that should be a biggest one. figures didn't reflect the way that he bowled but as happens in the game of cricket if you've got plenty of spirit plenty of determination and you keep performing well eventually the rewards will come and they're coming thick and fast here at the wacker for Ryan Harris good bowling and England on the rack now at 8 for 114 Ryan Harris his first five for in test cricket oh, he's not done yet <laughs> No guessing where that one was going to be. <sighs> that should be out. There it is. There it is. Australia are back in the series. The campaign is on track. Well, Steve Smith there finishing off the test with a catch. And Ryan Harris, uh, a terrific performance. Six for 47. And the Australians can be rightly proud of themselves the way they fought so hard and got the series level not only level now but psychologically they've come from miles behind in Adelaide and now you have to say psychologically they're in front